Hello, hello. So uh, I've got this mixer called uh, Voice Meter Banana. And right now I have set it to automatically start when I log in to Windows. Over here you can see System Tray Run at Startup because this is the default sort of mixer that I have. And this video will be about getting Spotify on its own channel here. Because normally in Spotify you can't set the output device uh, for some reason. And it will be on the regular desktop audio. There is a plugin for Spotify that actually costs like $10. But the problem with that plugin is that uh, it doesn't work when Spotify updates and you can only sort of activate it like 10 times or so and then you have to buy it again. So it's a crappy plugin. So there is a little bit of a workaround and um, there is a software called Audio Router that actually fixed this. But the thing is that you need to start audio router before this voice meter software or any other kind of mixer software because if i don't start that first this mixer will sort of uh, freeze it will sort of stop working and i have to restart it so what i have to do here is that i actually need to um, uh, exit this mixer and I hope it doesn't destroy the OBS here so let's see I just select shut down voice meter and yeah it should be microphone and now I actually I have it a shortcut to the audio router and like this and right now you can't really see Spotify, so I need to start Spotify like this. And it's kind of weird. I also have to play some music, so I will actually do it like this. Because I don't want any copyright stuff. Uh, so I just, yeah. Let's select this one. So I let it run like this. And right now here you can see actually it's Spotify. It should be playing. <laughs> and then you click the arrow down here. <clears throat> and people might think that you should do a route. But that doesn't really work that well. <clears throat> so you need to have select duplicate. And over here you can actually select the sort of device you should play on. And I will actually use this cable input like that. And OK. And now it's down here. And now I can actually start this mixer again. Banana. And the audio should now be coming over here, so let's actually mute. Oh, I can actually do like this. And if I turn up the volume here, you can see that now I have audio on Spotify over here instead of the desktop. And now I can actually control it a lot better. You know, I can set to mono or which output that I should put it on. And this A1, A2, A3, yeah, you can see that this is the outputs over here. So A1 is my digital output that goes to my sound system. Uh, the A2 is the analog sort of speaker output on the motherboard, uh, the real tech. And then I have also the Creative Sound Blaster sound card. And that's the uh, sort of headphone output for that. 
So yeah. So now you can see I have it on a separate. So that's kind of how you have to do it if you want Spotify on a separate kind of channel. And this might be good if you actually use OBS so that you can have like the music on its separate volume channel. So when you stream to Twitch or whatever, you can actually sort of adjust the audio to the stream separately because otherwise you have to uh, turn down the desktop audio but that also turned down the game audio so it's good to have the audio or the music to uh, on a separate channel so yeah that's kind of how you do it so now you have different here and by the way I I've seen a lot of other people using the software but they don't change the name. How you change the name up here is that you uh, actually hold your mouse here and you right click on it. You can name it to whatever you want and it will be the same down here. So right click so that I know it's the Spotify channel here. And I got the microphone and Discord desktop and VMware. So my virtual machine have their own separate channel as well. So yeah, that's kind of how you do it. So uh, see you later.